Hi everybody, I'm Dominic from AskMeDIY.com. In this video, we're going to replace a dimmer switch with a regular switch. And this is an old dimmer switch that has gone bad and uh, the homeowner is really not concerned about having a dimmer switch anymore. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain the wiring of an actual switch. So let's go ahead and show you how to take this apart. All right, most of these dimmer switches, the, the cap on it, the round knob, it's been on there for a long time. You just got to give it a real good pull. And there it comes. It's off and it's done. Now what I'm going to do is re remove the rest of this plate by removing these screws so we can get to the switches. Alright, just finishing removing the rest of these screws for, for the old switch there. And here's our dimmer switch. Okay, now this is actually a good dimmer switch for me to show you uh, and explain to you the wiring on this. Now your dimmer switch could look a lot different, uh, but basically they're all going to be the same, okay? Uh, we have a black wire in, a black wire out. Now, what this is, one of these black wires, and I don't know which one is giving the power, and I don't know which one is delivering the power back out to our, our light, uh, and it really doesn't matter, okay? Uh, they're both going to be power, and uh, one thing you want to do is definitely turn your power off at your panel before playing with this. Okay, so we're going to take these two out and we're left with those two black ones and we have our ground, okay, which is our green, okay. So there's our old switch and into the garbage that goes. Now, you look at our new switch going on, we have two screws and I got one that's going in and one that's going out. It does not matter which way, which one, okay. It's that when you touch these two wires, these two black wires together, well, that completes the circuit and is given the power coming in to the power going out. And that's how the light switch basically works. The other wiring for like, like the neutral on, and the ground, that's all taken care of already. So we're just replacing the switch. But if you notice on the switch, we have a green screw. Now it doesn't have to be green, but the, most of them are going to be green. And that's for the ground. You can always tell which one's the ground because it's connected to the, the rest of this metal frame that, that makes up the switch. So what we're going to do, we're going to get these two black leads, two hot leads, and we're going to screw them onto these connectors. Stop. All right, went ahead and connected our ground wire and one of our hot leads to the switch. One thing I want to point out to you, you notice when you tighten the screw, it's going in a clockwise position. Well, with the wire, you want to give it a bend and hook it onto that screw like that. And make sure it's in there nice and good, not like that or anything in good. Now when you tighten the screw that it's going in the direction of that bend. So what's going to happen with that screw, the wire, it's going to pull it around if anything and make it real nice and tight. Otherwise it can actually pop out on you. Uh, it may not pop out on you right away but it can definitely pop out as you're putting that switch in the wall. Give it nice and snug tight and that is it. So now the switch, how a switch really works. You know, it's going to complete the circuit. Right now it's in the on position. I'm going to turn it off. And then now these two wires are not making connection with each other. Turn the switch on. And that's all it's going to do is make connection between this wire and that wire. And that's basically how a switch works. One important thing, when you're going to put the, the wiring and the switch back in, push the wires in with your finger. Push them in a little bit. And make sure nothing's coming anywhere close in contact with your two screws here. Uh, one thing that I like to do, uh, the other one's actually covered like that, I like to wrap electrical tape around it like two or three times, which really helps uh, to prevent anything from going uh, on if anything was to touch it. All right, well, we turned our power back on, our switch is all back in here, it's working nice, nice, didn't get shocked. Anyway, I'm Dominic from AspeakDIY.com, thanks for watching.